Hey everyone, this is Gail. I just looked at myself. I, I apologize. I did not comb my hair or put on any lipstick or anything. I've been busy today. Just thought I'd, you know, drop in and give you a little bit of an update. Um, our house, everything's going on schedule. We will be moving. This today is Tuesday, and we will be moving two weeks from today. So that's kind of scary. But uh, lots to be done. My poor uh, craft room is a mess, and I'm going to um, I'm going to at the end of this, I'm going to give you a little clip of what my craft room looks like right now. And this is just my clay room. My card room is even worse but um, it's getting a little hard to walk around I'm you know trying to pack everything up and it's it's just hard I'm trying to leave my workstation you know my where I do my videos I'm trying to leave that um, I say clear at least I'm not packing that up yet because hopefully I will get a chance to do at least one more video before I have to pack everything up and uh, but it's just been kind of crazy um, uh, like I said we close on the 16th which is a Monday we move furniture and whatever boxes on the 18th and then we will, I mean, on the 17th, and then on the 18th, we will come back and clean and put things away and, you know, just make sure everything is cleared out and in good shape for our new, uh, my, the new owners of the house. And then after that, it's unpacking and getting everything done. Now, my priorities are uh, the movers will put my bed up. So I don't have to worry about that, but at least I will have to make the bed. I'm going to get things out in the kitchen so we can at least eat. And then I'm going to start on my craft room. Now, how is that? Well, we have furniture being delivered. Uh, about a year ago, my daughter and I bought some furniture. Back when we thought we were moving in March. Actually, it wasn't a year ago. It was right at uh, between Christmas and New Year's, I believe. And... Uh, we thought we were moving in March, so my daughter and I went out because there was some great New Year's Eve or New Year's uh, furniture sales around here. And we got a new uh, furniture set for the den because we're going to have a family room and a living room, which we don't really need. And I'm not above making one of those rooms into a craft room. <laughs> We'll just see how it goes once I get in there because it's hard for me to look at a room and and be able to figure out what furniture I need. I bought, uh, well, a lot of it was gifted to me. Um, I have some Ikea furniture that is in my card room. And I'm thinking if I get the same, um, the same pieces for my clay, I should be able to get all of my clay stuff on one side of the room and my paper stuff on the other side of the room and maybe have a desk in the middle where I can do my videos. And I'll just have one uh, video station, but I'll do it for cards and for polymer clay because I do want to start back to doing some card, uh, you know, greeting card videos because I love making cards. So I will get back to that pretty soon, but it's, and well, at the thing is, once we get moved, I'm going to Phoenix for the uh, RG Avenue's first convention. So I'll be gone. My daughter is going to have surgery either the week before or the week after. So I'll have her at home to, to nurse back to health and uh, just things that are happening, and then it's going to be the holidays. So I don't know when I think I'm going to find time to get all this stuff done. But just wanted to check in. Uh, I did do a quick little video last week. I don't see that I'm going to get one done this week. But, you know, if I haven't packed up my workstation, you don't know what might happen. So just, you know, be patient with me. 
it's gonna it's it's an exciting time for me and um, you know I, we're through the worst part um, and that was selling this house which was a, a, it was nerve-wracking but you know and I apologize to those of you that are not religious because um, I am and it was all a God thing um, I prayed and prayed and prayed because God has done some amazing things for me in my life. And I'll I'll tell you about it sometime. But, I mean, as far as things that don't just normally happen, so it's obvious his hand was in it. And I feel like that's what happened with this house because it had been on the market for June, July, August for two and a half months before um, anybody, you know, made an offer on it. So I was beginning to worry. Now, fact, we had passed the time that we needed to get a contract on the house if anybody was financing the house, which most people do. And that time had come and gone. So we were going, oh, dear, we're, you know, not only can we not sell this house, but we're going to have to give up the other house because, you know, we're not going to be able to close on it. And wouldn't you know, out of the clear blue sky, these people showed up and wanted to see the house. They didn't even have an agent. They wanted to see the house. And they came in. They saw it. They liked it. They made me an offer that night. We dickered back and forth a little bit. They accepted my final counter. And they're paying cash. So there was no delay. We don't have to wait for financing or anything. It, it's it's just amazing. And so after all that part was over with, all the nerve-wracking part, I thought, you know, if I had gotten a contract back before that time, when it was a time that, you know, during the time that we needed to sell the house, I don't know if I would have realized that God was a part of it. But the fact that he waited until it was almost impossible for us to uh, do it, you know, well, it was impossible for us to do it on our own, but, you know, the situation was just at a point where we were getting pretty desperate, and lo and behold, a cash buyer. Now, how many people pay cash for a home anymore? So that just floored me. So, uh, anyway, just want to Get, I'm sorry I, I started ranting. I've just got so much going on in my head, and I'm afraid none of it is clay-related or card-making related. But uh, just wanted to say hello, let you know I haven't forgotten you. I don't get on the computer as much as I used to because my spare time is spent either making repairs that has been requested or um, packing and sorting. My daughter and I, We've spent a couple of days out in the shed trying to sort through that. And because there's no sense in moving some of that stuff. It's just garbage. So, um, you know, it's just a lot, but it will all get done. And I'm just, I'm on the down, downhill side now. So, um, every, I hope everyone that lives in the, along the East Coast uh, is going to stay safe during the hurricane. Uh, Dorian has been a, a terrible storm. It's not as big as some of the other storms, but very powerful. And it's pretty much demolished the Bahamas. And luckily it has turned. Uh, Richmond is only expected to get just the very edges. We're only supposed to get a little bit of, you know, wind and some, a little, few little showers, nothing even bad. Eastern part of the state, southeastern part of the state is expecting more. Hmm, excuse me, I need to yawn. But those, if any of you are in that area, please stay safe. And don't, you know, if the authorities tell you to evacuate, please evacuate. Your life isn't worth uh, losing over possessions. You can get your possessions back. You can't get your life back. So everyone have a great week. And I will be back again as soon as I have something else to tell you. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. Walking into my craft room. You can see all this stuff packed up in boxes and bags. 
And there's my desk. The desk is fairly clean, only be, you know, but I keep it clean anyway. It only usually just houses my printer and things like my stapler and stuff, but most of this stuff is packed away. I've got to get that TV off the wall. And down here on the floor, that's the white bag is trash. I have this shelf over here that I'm putting empty containers on as I clean them out. And again, more stuff to sort through. And more things that are packed. In my chair seat, my desk chair, I have a box full of things. You can see I have boxes kind of stuck everywhere. That's stuff that needs to go in a box. And I'm, this is pretty much cleaned out except for my clay. I can't do my clay until the last minute. That's why this stuff is still here. And then that rack, the white rack, and then this is my desk. The, this is all stuff that I use. The, ba the bare minimum stuff that I use on uh, when I'm making a video. There's my camera aim down and of course that's stuff I pulled off the shelf but you can see I had these shelves and they're pretty much empty this closet here is empty and I had two over the door racks here I had one that hung on the inside and one that hung on the outside that was full of things like paints and containers with things in them I mean you just wouldn't believe the stuff I had but that is it. Hopefully, by the, the next time you'll see uh, this stuff, it will be organized in a place where I can get some work done. So, thanks. See you soon.